Hi everyone, I'm Stefano from 3D Render and Beyond. Today I want to show you how to build an embroidered leather shader in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. Here you can see some reference image. Let's correct the perspective inside Photoshop, camera row. Now let's crop the image and we have done. Now in Cinema 4D, uh, let's create uh, a simple uh, plane. We can rotate it 45 degrees and make it uh, 10 centimeters. Let's create a Cinema 4D material. We can apply it to our plane in, with uh, using a flat projection. Let's load our texture. And now we can uh, rotate the texture and fit it to the object. Perfect. Now we can use the insert tool to add these polygons. We can insert a bit more here. Now select those uh, lines. Apply some bevel in solid mode. One millimeters should work. And add some more loop. There we go. We can make these uh, points a bit rounder and that will work. Select our polygons here and we can move it a bit. Apply a subdivision surface Select those lines Let's move it a bit more and we have done. Now I have uh, copied my object a few times. Be careful to those points. You can use the optimize command to fix them. Now let's create uh, the seams. We will use uh, a sweep uh, tool let's scale it a bit okay that should work Now let's uh, select uh, uh, a few lines and we can get our uh, spline here. And now we can use a cloner to distribute our seams uh, across the splines. Don't forget to rotate our uh, object if needed. And we can scale it a bit. Okay, now we've done the same for all the other splines and we can duplicate uh, our uh, seams. We have those uh, duplicated seams here and we are going to delete them. Okay. And now they work perfectly. Now let's create our maps. 
We can uh, create a simple Cinema 4D shader. Let's load the gradient inside the luminance uh, channel and we can apply it to our mesh. Set it in flat uh, projection, fit it to the object and now we can rotate uh, the gradient. Perfect. Minus 90 degree and now it works. We can create a Cinema 4D camera. We can select it here. Let's set the output to 4K. And don't forget to turn off the default light. We can save the image in 32 bit. Now let's create our normal maps for the scenes. I'll reuse this simple uh, normal shader here. It's done like this. And now we can uh, deselect the linear workflow to get a proper output. I have added a plane to get a flat background. Let's save it. Now, let's create an ambient occlusion uh, map using the same technique. And an alpha maps uh, uh, for the seams. Now let's open uh, every map in Photoshop. We can copy every image on the same uh, file. Let's crop it. Now let's check uh, that uh, the tiling is correct. Perfect. Let's save this uh, displacement map uh, uh, in uh, 32 bit using a linear color profile. And for the other maps, uh, we can use uh, a simple uh, 8-bit format uh, using an sRGB color profile. Now, Let's go back to Cinema 4D. We will build our shader using our uh, light box. We can start uh, with a simple V-Ray material. Let's load a simple leather texture. Let's fix the tiling. And we can add uh, an ambient occlusion texture uh, using uh, Cinema 4D layer shader. We can scale the texture a bit. We will use a simple cube to get the, the correct size. And we can tune a bit uh, the ambient occlusion in multiply mode. We can add a simple bump map. activate the reflection channel. We can mix uh, the diffuse color inside the reflection color here. Then we can also add uh, a glossiness map. We can reuse the bump uh, map and tune it a bit with the filter shader. 
Okay, that should work. Now let's create the sims material. We will load the map created before. Don't forget to use add material here. Let's load our normal map in tangent space. Don't forget to use linear profile. Let's add a bit more bump here. Okay, it seems nice. Let's tune a bit the color and we can add also a bit of shin. Okay, now we can add uh, the displacement using the V-Ray geometry tag. Don't forget to drag and drop the material here. We can start with 0 0.6 uh, centimeters and we can tune a bit this value to get uh, better results. Let's load our displacement map. Okay, it seems a bit too much. Let's scale it down a bit. Maybe still a bit too much. Okay, that should work. Now that we have uh, built our base uh, shader, we can also uh, choose other colors. And since the Sims shader uh, is separate, we can tune the two material uh, much better. Here another example. Okay, it seems uh, very nice. We have all these nice details, the seams, uh, and everything uh, works nicely. Now that you have uh, your shader, you can reuse it in uh, your scenes, on uh, fabrics, uh, pillows, uh, or uh, wherever you want. So, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe uh, to our channel.